Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Blue skies and sunshine here. Before we head into our next state, I popped the hood this morning and uh, noticed that we're low on a couple fluids. Not, not oil. I never forget to check my oil on long trips, but we are... Uh, this is an advanced auto. You think I'm going to be able to fit in here with this sucker? Well, we're going to have to try because I need... Uh, power steering fluid and coolant. I didn't bring any antifreeze coolant. And I don't want to have a problem. Look at this. Look at this RV park and spurt right here. That's how we're going to do it. I'll go in and get my supplies and then we'll, we'll hook everything back up. What was that? So nothing bad was gonna happen, but once it gets past this level right here, this is the, your cold level right here. So, and top this off. I went ahead and got the 50-50 anyway, because it's more convenient on the road. I don't want to have to mix concentrate and stuff, but and I just realized I can't see it from this angle. I have to move over here so I can actually see the line. Okay, we're getting close now. Yeah, spill it all over the place too, Eric. There, that's all it needed. I don't want to go too past the full cold. Cool. And then uh, power steering fluid was, it's just under the low point there. So put some of that in there. Yummy. I don't know how big this reservoir is. I better keep checking it. There we go. Uh, all the caps are back on. Awesome sauce. Load up the extra fluid in the trailer. Now I have all the fluids I need on the road. Just didn't bring them for some reason. They're in a... I think they're in a homer bucket back at camp. <laughs> Bike's still attached, good to go. Alrighty, let's uh, go turn off the rooftop air conditioner, fire it up, and let's head towards Idaho. Hey, you're missing part of your car. <laughs> All right, how we looking? Fuel, full, uh, temperature, good. Pressure, good. Voltage, good, yes done all we can do uh, but I can't ignore the fact that I have I have broken down on this next stretch up the hill up the mountain I have in one of my older RVs and uh, I, that's not gonna happen we're good we've done everything we can do but we have to have full faith in Frida okay let's do this come on please yeah, this is uh, top speed for me. Some of these inclines in Utah are very long and very steep. 35 mile an hour is as fast as I can go. They're not going too much faster than me, but there's no perspective of how steep this is. It's zigzagging, doing the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break because I've been putting a lot on the transmission. Now 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna try to shift again. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to give the transmission and engine a break. I'm going to grab some lunch. Man. Man. Hey, this lead that I have on lunch is a good one. Oftentimes people will give me tips on stuff I missed, but I'm, I'm already gone. And that's okay. That's cool. I still like those tips because I'll come back the next time and I'll star it. So this is one that I had starred after a viewer of mine said, Eric, this is the, the coolest restaurant in Ogden, Utah. And I agree. It looks cool. There's some really cool pictures and I really want to go see it. Well, hang on. First, first, oh, oh, excuse me, coming through, coming through. What? <laughs> there's, there's a... Oh, that is so cool. There's a freaking rocket shuttle sticking out of the school here. Oh, my Lanta. That is the coolest ever. What is this, a high school? I don't know. Am I going to make it through here? I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm... Well, it's July. School's closed. Are we rubbing? School's closed, so that's okay. But look at this. 
It's a space shuttle. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool. Uh, awesome. that car away but I had to get out and take a picture of a Frida and trailer swift underneath that <laughs> that's awesome cool nice job it's, it's Odyssey Elementary School and Astro Camp what okay very very cool did I go in the wrong way how do I get out oh right there okay I see it. <laughs> all right let's go get some grub and let the engine give the engine a little break and and the transmission yeah they both need a break Thank you for letting me over. Thank you for letting me over. Awesome. There's only one problem I just realized. We're literally in downtown Ogden. And, uh, uh, I did not realize that parking was going to be an issue to go eat here. Bummer. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> it's not that bad to drive through, though. Like, unlike some other big cities, you're not, you're not hitting, like your mirror's not hitting other parked cars because they got the bike lane, they got parking, they got everything. The light's still yellow, the light's still yellow, the light's still yellow, we're good. <laughs> you know? It's not, it's not bad. <laughs> oh, we're actually turning right here, but look at this sign. It pays to live in Ogden, home of Weber State University. Okay, this is the place, right? All right, this is the place, guys. I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. All right, not getting a whole lot of solar here, 266 watts, but we do have the air conditioning on for the kitties. Oh, I'm hungry. Look at this place, guys. The US Post Office, the courthouse in J, jail. Missing some stuff. I love the sand. That's a nice effect. The gunsmith over there, some wagon wheels, the livery and stable. There's even a general store. Everything about this just feels like the Old West. It's so Utah, you know? We've got a Native American and a cowboy greeting us, ready for a handshake. Hello, sir. Thank you. Do you have any burgers? And I believe it's called Prairie Schooner. We're gonna find out here in a minute. Ah, heck yeah, they got outdoor seating here. I'm gonna go look at it first before I get checked in here. They got some water flowing over here. Hey, nicely themed. I like that. All right, Prairie Schooner Steakhouse. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this, guys? We're all gonna eat in covered wagons with wildlife. Yep, they put me in this one right here. Already got my uh, bread with some butter there. And uh, yeah, this has to be the quirkiest restaurant I've been to in a very long time. How cool is this? Everybody gets to eat in a covered wagon. I love it. Oh, it's a kitty kitty. And it looks like a cowboy over here in the cactus. Probably having some, some cowboy juice there. Unbelievable. I love it. Nicely done. I get the whole loaf of bread to myself. Yes. Score. I love being single. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's warm too. Excellent. Yeah. And I got an order in. I'm not doing a burger this time. I'm in a steak restaurant, guys. <laughs> All right, starting off with some chicken dumpling soup with decorations on top. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good soup. Really good soup. Mmm. All right, moving on to the main course. I got steak and taters. Got my steak medium well. They did give me some decorations, but you can just move the decorations aside and enjoy the real stuff. Okay. Still waiting on my steak sauce, so I'm gonna dip it in the gravy instead. And then throw the whole plate on the ground. You can probably hear me through the covered wagons. All right, I finished the important stuff. I just saved the decorations for the next plate, the, the garnish for the next plate they use, you know, because that's what it's for and stuff. Absolutely recommend this place. As much money as they put into it, the food and the drinks are not that bad. Steak, taters, soup, bread for $18, and then they got $5 draft beers, $3 sodas. Yeah, really, really good prices. But 
we need to get on the road and head towards Idaho. Oh, Frida's getting plenty of solar on the roof now. Thank you, Utah. Utah. <laughs> uh, I know, but did you did you miss me or anything? Did, I I sorry, I didn't break, bring back any steak. I could have brought you back some decorations, but. <laughs> All right, you just stay here. I'll do all the hard work. Well, we're on I-84 West in Utah, which could, would take us all the way to the other coast, Portland, Oregon, through Idaho, uh, the northern part of Oregon, across the Columbia River. I was thinking the farther north you get, the cooler it would get. This heat wave currently live just keeps expanding out all the way up to North Dakota. There's nowhere to go except the ocean. <laughs> I don't know anymore. See guys, I can drive when I want to. I, I can do a good three hours behind the wheel before I need to stop. The blue sign off to our right. Welcome to Idaho. That's right. <laughs> I'll get up here to the uh, Welcome Center rest area and take a break. <laughs> Just trying to get to, let's see what, the, what, see what the temperature is here in Idaho. There, it pulled up. We're in Malta, Idaho, and it is 90 degrees. A far cry from triple digits. I did it. We did it. Opie, Tara. <laughs> no more triple digits. Woo. <laughs> uh, I do need a stretch though. My butt's going numb. Yep, here's the rest area, welcome center. I think it's a welcome center. It might just be a rest area, I'm not sure, but we're not gonna make it to our church harvest host again today on time. We're already running late, so. No, this is not a welcome center. I'm confused. Oh, that's true, I usually go through Pocatello. That's true. This is my first time on I-84 into Idaho, so this is a little new. That's fine, I just wanna, I just wanna take a quick break. You know what, it actually looks a little stormy ahead. Might get some warm rain. <laughs> All right, well, let's get on the road and go get parked. I'm not saying that I won't take the Harley out later once we get parked, but I wanna get to the Harvest Host. All right, let's finish this. We're going to Buell, Idaho, 116 miles, an hour and 52 minutes left. Like I said, no matter what, we ain't gonna make it because I'm gonna have to get gas somewhere in Idaho to fill up because uh, cause I need gas. I need gas. All right? Hi, Idaho. I don't, you know. Okay, that one's getting pretty old. I always do that when I get here. <laughs> uh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, kitties. I'm losing it. Hey, you're going too slow. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Get it? It's hey. No wonder I drive alone. Okay. Alright. Hey. The church is right here. The Calvary Assembly of God. Doesn't look like anybody's here. But you are supposed to check in. I don't know. I don't know. I'll get out, turn the air conditioner on, go walk around, see if I can find somebody and see where the home I'm going to go. We shall see. AC. AC. <laughs> Guess what? Turns out where I initially parked is exactly where they want me to park. They're very friendly. The, the Harvest Host uh, app on your phone allows you to message with your host most times. Not not every host does it, but this one was totally cool. They said, yeah, park wherever you like in the gravel and uh, make yourself at home. Uh, they're doing a Bible study tonight that they invited me to. I told them that uh, I was gonna take the bike out and to find a good uh, place for grub tonight. I know there's been a lot of food in this in this video, but um, I'm only gonna be gone for a half hour. Well, maybe, maybe an hour, but I'm gonna lock everything up and make sure the kitties are secure means I gotta put on long pants. I don't have to put on a leather jacket, but I might still wear leather, we'll see. <laughs> it's just for the ride, right? As soon as I get there, I can take it off and enjoy the air conditioning. Not sure if I mentioned I'm in 
Buell, Idaho, B-U-H-L. I am uh, just west of Twin Falls, Idaho, where Evil Knievel's from, or where Evil Knievel tried to jump the Snake River. Yeah, that's where, that's where I'm at. So, um, yeah, let me let me gear up and I'll take you into town with me. We'll we'll find some good grub. We'll find we'll find a local watering hole. I just wanted to make sure that you'd be okay without me. Do Do you think you can manage without a dad for an hour and stuff? Yeah. Did you forget about me even? I think you did. Hi, <laughs> buddy. Take care of your sister, okay? Thank you. You're just gonna sleep the whole time, whatever. Whatever. What a putz with a putz, Opie double dopely. Tara, I know you're, you've are you got seniority here in the RV, but I told Opie to take care of you because you're the girl. You're the girl and you need to be taken care of. Yeah. Isn't that a, yeah, that's how it goes, huh? Okay, girl. Stay cool. Yeah, you laying right underneath the AC vent. She ain't dumb. She ain't dumb. Her's a smart girl. Yeah, hers is. I love you, girlfriend. All right. You know, sometimes I, I kind of miss that little, that red Honda scooter I had. You could just scoot around, t-shirts and a short, and shorts. And, uh, <laughs> can't do that on a Harley, I guess. All right, let's do this. Get this over with. I like grind, but I just don't like it when it's so freaking hot. All right, not bad front row parking. I'm gonna try out Magic Valley Brewing, bridging the gap. They got good ratings. All right, not bad. I got an order in, and I'm starting with the Shoshun Paintbrush Irish Red. Look at that. Yeah. They're Harley friendly here. I see a Harley hog right there, and all the taps have the deer antler tops on them. That's pretty cool. This place is busy and popular, but it is a sausage fest. <laughs> Uh, food coming. Yep, steak for lunch and uh, home style fish and chips for dinner here at the bar. With some barbecue sauce because that's how I do it. Let's see if we can throw it on the ground or not. I'm kind of hungry. I'm actually going to enjoy it. I'm not throw it on the ground. <laughs> it's good though. Real good. Neat place. And these cups. I was wondering about all these mugs. There's a story behind them. When the place opened in 2016, they would give you a personalized mug if you had a hundred beers. So all these people, John Gallup, Ty, Popplewell, they all get their own custom mug because they have had at least 100 beers. Most of it have a lot more than 100 beers. Pancake. <laughs> they wash them for you. They keep them on the wall. When you come in, you grab your beer, you, your, your mug, you, you take it up there and you're good to go. How cool is that? You gotta love small town Idaho breweries. Really cool. Well, I wanna get back and see those kitties. It's still <laughs> arm outside. <laughs> We're gonna make it though. All right. I'll bet they're both still passed out like fuzzy butts. Well, one of them is. One of them literally has not freaking moved. Where's Tara? Where's your sister? Tara, Tara, I moved daddy. I, 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 I moved six inches. You sure did. What a good girl. I missed you. I didn't bring you any fish, though. Are you mad? I didn't bring you any. I know. Isn't that crazy? You're going to bite me tonight when I go to sleep, aren't you? I'm going to bite you, Daddy. Okay. I probably deserve it. I love you, though. I'm going to make it up to you guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, on my way back, I stopped at two different convenience stores looking for Rainier Beer. It's been a while. It's only a Pacific Northwest thing. It's now owned by, I think, PBR, Pabst Brewing Company, and uh, you can only find them in parts of Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. However, I'm striking out. So, we'll try again in my next video in Oregon for Rainier Beer. Just had a craving. I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, we got it down to 87 inside the RV running this air conditioner for two hours. It's struggling.
It's struggling. It is not meant for hot climates like this. We're gonna have to get the cooler temperatures here, guys. Kitties, what? What? We need we need cooler temperatures. Yeah. Okay. By the way, guys, I am thoroughly enjoying being back on the road, even though things aren't perfect. I got a lot of stuff I still got to work on. Uh, it's really nice to be back on the road. I do kind of miss base camp. Um, I may have some more visitors at base camp too. Uh, Kat and Homer couldn't get to where they wanted to get to, and they may be back on my property when we get back. I don't even know how long I'm going to be gone. I'm only here because it's just too hot everywhere, and I want to go somewhere else. So, uh... I just don't know what's going on yet. But anyway, really, really glad that I got to bring Black Betty this trip. Something a little different than normal. And uh, one of my cousins gave birth a couple hours in Oregon. And uh, I think I'm going to scoot over there first thing in the morning and see how she's doing. And then, uh, well, we're going to have our first family reunion since prior to the big virusy thing. Uh, end of August. So now I'm like, huh. These are the temperatures in Ocean Shores. Th th those are the highs. Those are the high temperatures in August in Ocean Shores. And I'm like, that's what's up. You guys be well. I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye. So